Welcome to the Auto-Tune Evo Overview Tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll go over what Auto-Tune Evo is, as well as its main shared features and functions. Before we get into it, here's a quick history lesson for the new Auto-Tune user. In 1997, Intari's Audio Technologies introduced the groundbreaking Auto-Tune Pitch Correcting Plugin. Auto-Tune was a tool that actually corrected the pitch of the vocals and other solo instruments in real time without distortion or artifacts, while preserving all of the expressive nuance of the original performance. Auto-Tune hailed rave reviews from the pro audio industry and Antares has been making advances in their technology ever since. Auto-Tune has established itself as the worldwide standard in professional pitch correction and is used daily by thousands of audio professionals to save studio and editing time, ease the frustration of endless retakes, save that otherwise once in a lifetime performance, or even to create unique special effects. Okay, enough history, let's look at the plugin. This is the Auto-Tune Evo user interface. In this tutorial, we'll cover all the features and functions that are shared by both auto and graphical modes. The features and functions of auto and graphical modes will then be covered in separate tutorials. Starting in the left top corner, we have the input type selector. This is a very important feature when using Auto-Tune Evo. Antari spent a lot of time researching the characteristics of the different voice ranges and developed specific algorithms for each. So when using Auto-Tune Evo, start here and choose the best input type for your material, otherwise the results may be less than perfect. Remember, Auto-Tune Evo is not just for the voice, and can be used on any monophonic instrument that has pitch, and can even be used on bass instruments. Again, make sure you pick the right input type for the material you're processing with Auto-Tune Evo. If you're not getting the results you want, try another input type and see if it helps. Next is the tracking control. In order to accurately identify the pitch of the input signal, Auto-Tune Evo requires a periodically repeating waveform, like that of a voice or solo instrument. The tracking control determines how much variation is allowed in the incoming signal for Auto-Tune Evo to still consider it periodic. If you're working with a well-isolated solo signal, for example, like when tracking in a studio or with a multi-track master, you can typically set the tracking control to 50 and get great results. Next we have the Select Pitch Reference Buttons. Auto-Tune Evo has the ability to pitch correct stereo tracks while preserving the track's phase coherence. Just select the appropriate button to determine which of the two stereo tracks, meeting the left or right channel, Auto-Tune Evo will use as a pitch reference. Also, if there is a notable difference in the two tracks' sound quality, pick the cleanest as it will produce the best results when using Auto-Tune Evo. It's important to note that Auto-Tune Evo will only pitch correct true stereo tracks. If the second track, meaning the track not selected as a pitch reference, is simply a separate unrelated track, unpredictable and potentially unpleasant sounds may result. On the other hand, something cool and interesting might happen, you never know. Keep in mind when Auto-Tune Evo is instantiated on a mono track, this control is inactive and grayed out. Next up is the key selector. This option lets you select the key of the track you plan to process. To select the desired key, just click on the key pop-up menu and then select the desired note from the pop-up list. This will determine the pitch of the first note of the scale according to the standard A3 equals 440 Hz. The scale selection control here is used in combination with the key selection to define the scale of the track you plan to process. To select a scale, click on the scale pop-up and then select the desired scale from the pop-up list. Also, to avoid having to deal with scales containing those annoying double flats, double sharps, and notes like C-flat, E-sharp, F-flat, and B-sharp, Auto-Tune Evo will automatically choose the simpler of the two inharmonically equivalent scales. For example, if you select D-flat major, the edit scale display will duly display the D-flat major scale. However, if you then go to the scale selection pop-up and select minor, the key will automatically be changed to C-sharp and the edit scale display will, in fact, display the much friendlier C-sharp minor scale. This behavior will be reflected on both the auto mode scale edit display and the pitch graph display in graphical mode. For the utmost scaling flexibility and creative tuning, Auto-Tune Evo comes with 29 pre-programmed scales. The first three equal-tempered scales, chromatic, major, and minor, are the ubiquitous scales typically found in Western tonal music. The other scales are historical, ethnic, and microtonal scales, so take some time and have fun trying out different scales on your tracks. Next, the scale detune parameter allows you to change the pitch standard of Auto-Tune Evo from the default A equals 440 Hz. The value is set in cents where 100 cents equals one semitone. The range of adjustment is from negative 100 to plus 100 cents. For convenience, the detune amount is also displayed in hertz relative to A440. 
The detune function can be used to tune a vocal performance to some irreparably out of tune instruments such as a piano or organ, for example, or to allow correction to other than the conventional 440Hz standard. Here's a quick tip. If you've adjusted the scale detune and want to quickly set it back to its default setting of zero, just double click on it, or command click if on Mac, or control click if on PC, and it will reset. In addition to any pitch correction applied by either automatic or graphical mode, the transpose control lets you shift the overall pitch of your performance up or down an octave, selectable in precise semitone increments. In automatic mode, this transposition is accomplished in real time. In graphical mode, this function does not affect the pitch edit display. It provides overall transposition on top of any pitch shifting accomplished with the graphical editing tools. As stated earlier, although you can also accomplish overall transposition in graphical mode by selecting all the correction objects in your track and manually moving them up or down, in most cases, using the transpose function will provide better results. Entirely new to Autotune Evo are the pitch shifting, formant correction, and throat modeling functions located in the common control area and are available in both auto and graphical modes. These are used if you're transposing more than a semitone or two and your intent is to preserve the performer's vocal character. To utilize these functions, first engage the formant option here. The button will turn blue when formant correction is active and will be pale gray when it's inactive. Engaging formant correction prevents the shifting of a voice's resonant frequencies and ensures that its vocal characteristics are preserved over the pitch shift range. It's worth noting that when retuning the very small intervals usually associated with basic pitch correction, formant shifting is essentially inaudible and Autotune's classic pitch adjustment technology still provides the optimum results. Formant correction is really designed to be used with overall transposition or on tracks where notes are shifted by large intervals. For example, let's listen to the vocal part at its original pitch. See how they run. Now let's set up Autotune Evo for this vocal part and dial in the transpose settings and hear it transposed up a third. See how they run. Keep in mind when transposing in large intervals without form and correction, especially when transposing higher, the result will be the munchkinization effect familiar from tape speed changing and early digital sampling, like so. See how they run. Of course, if singing chipmunks are what you're going for, then leave formant correction off. The default transpose setting is zero semitones, which equals no transposition. Just like the scale detune knob, double clicking the transpose knob or command control clicking it will reset it to a zero value. The shape of a singer's throat is a prime contributor to their vocal character. Autotune Evo lets you modify the vocal quality of a performance by actually varying the geometry of a physical model of the human vocal tract and processing the original performance through that model. This is done here with the throat length control and allows you to modify the length of the model throat. The range of the control is from 0.50 to 1.80. Values above 1.0 represent a lengthening of the throat, while values below 1.0 represent a shortening of the throat. The actual values represent the percentage change in the throat length. For example, a value of 1.20 represents a 20% increase in throat length, while a value of 0.70 represents a 30% decrease in throat length. Please note that the throat length control is only active when formant correction is engaged and is disabled and grayed out when formant correction is off. In addition to simply changing vocal timbre, increasing throat length is useful when the original performance is female and you want to transpose it down and have it sound more male. Conversely, decreasing throat length is useful when the original input is male and you want to transpose it up and have it sound female or childlike. While this control gives you the ability to radically change the throat length, keep in mind that variation in the length of the human vocal track is rarely more than 20% in either direction. If you're looking for realistic vocal characteristics, start with modest settings of this control. More extreme settings can produce dramatic results, but probably not what anyone would call realistic. The throat length function is specifically for changing the existing quality of a voice, not for manual formant compensation while pitch shifting, as Autotune Evo automatically applies appropriate formant correction when it shifts pitch with formant correction enabled. Like the other knobs, double click or command control click it to reset it to its default value. Please note that formant correction and throat length are not available in the TDM versions of Autotune Evo. If you wish to use the formant correction and throat length functions on a TDM system, be sure to select the RTAS version of Autotune Evo.